In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Quant Tower. Now, it's actually very simple, it's very easy to use, just follow along. Now, for the first time you actually open up a Quant Tower, the first thing you want to do is connect it to your broker or basically what you want to be trading with. So, the way you do this is very easy. Go up here where you can see a bunch of different connections, click on one of them, and here you can search for different connections. So just look for the one you like. It can be, for example, Binance. You can go crypto.com. Or, for example, you can even go like different brokers, maybe even IC markets, whatever you want to do. And then just basically put in your login credentials and select the server, click connect, and then it will get connected to your Quant Tower. Now, that's the first thing you have to do. And then you can go ahead and start using it. Now, the basic functionality, the first time you open this, you're gonna be overwhelmed with different information. It's gonna, basically, there's gonna be a bunch of different things on your screen, but don't worry, you can just close it via this button up here, and as you can see, you will only have this kind of top window open. Now, once you actually have this, what you're gonna have to do is go ahead over here, top left, and here you can see a bunch of different templates you can open up. So you have your different templates, you have for a different analytic windows for trading, for portfolio, informational, miscellaneous, etc. Okay, so you can open up one of these templates over here if you want to, but what I like to do usually is you can just go ahead over here and you can open up whatever you like. So for example, chart is something that's usually very useful. I like to open up the chart and put it on a big display over here in the middle. And then there's a bunch of different things you can also do. So whatever you want to do, you can just open it up over here and then it will get displayed on your on top of your chart over here on your screen. So let's say, for example, I want copy trading, click on that, it's gonna get displayed. You can put it wherever you want on your screen as well. And of course, you can use it that way. So this goes for whatever. These symbols up here are actually your favorited items. So as you can see, the ones that have this star are up here. So I'm just going to remove this. As you can see, it got removed. And then let's say I want to actually add in multiple orders. You can just star it over here is gonna get added up here. But of course, you will have to remember this kind of symbol for it. So usually it's quite, quite logical, but if you don't know it, go back in here and you'll be able to see it. Now, once you have quest customized your Quant Tower, of course, on the charts, you can select different times, different, uh, basically, uh, time periods, however you want the chart to look like. And then here you have your indicators. You can basically put on different, uh, different symbols. You have a bunch of different things. You can draw on here, whatever you want, okay? So so this is completely up to you. Of course, that's basically how you would do on any other platform. But then if you want to start trading, for example, you can go ahead. The easiest way is to click on the very top right of a chart over here where you can open up the side panel for trading. You can get the quick trader down here at the bottom. You can enable the uh, mouse trading, which is actually very convenient as well. And then if you'd like to see any volume analysis, you can click on that. You can set that up over here at the bottom. You can open up different profiles, etc. And then this part over here, what's basically gonna happen is it's going to enable you to do things using your keyboard, okay? Now, those are the basic functionalities and that's literally how to use Quant Tower. So there's nothing more to it than that. Of course, there's a bunch of different things you could go over, but of course, the tutorial would be too long. So this is how to basically just use it, how to get started. Here you have the settings as well. You can set different settings, hotkeys, uh, messengers, control centers, etc. You can set that up for yourself, however you would like it. And then, of course, once you are ready, you can just go ahead and start trading. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.